The count a function is a very handy statistical function in Excel. Most commonly, the count a function allows you to count the number of cells that are not empty, but it can also count the number of value arguments provided. Let's take a quick look at how to use the count a function in Excel. Here we have a table of data that includes five columns of data. In column A, we have our student's last name. In column B, we have our student's first name. And in column C, D, and E, we have the student's grades for math, biology, and chemistry. Let's use the count a function to count the number of students that have a grade for each subject. We will start with our formula that counts the number of students with a math grade. Let's begin by entering the count a command. As you can see, the count a function takes a series of arguments as parameters. Each argument can be a range, cell, or a value and you can enter up to 255 arguments. To keep it simple today, we will enter the range C2 to C7. Now let's see what our formula returns. You should see the value 3 appear in cell C8. This is the number of cells in the range C2 to C7 that are not empty. So cells C2, C5, and C6 are counted, each as 1, giving us the result of 3. This means that there are three students that have a grade for math. Now let's copy our formula into cells D8 and E8. The formula in cell D8 returns the value 2, which means that there are two students with a grade in biology. And the formula in cell E8 returns the value 4, which means that there are four students with a grade in chemistry. This completes our example of how to use Excel's count a function. If you would like to see more count a examples or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.